This photography lockdown challenge is let's repeat. What could that mean to you? Photography lockdown challenges are creative challenges based around a theme rather than a go photograph a tree challenge. If you'd like to find out more and join in with these challenges and stretch your creativity, please click the little thing popping out up there right now. So repeat, how could you interpret repeat? There are many ways. Now obviously repeating patterns, they can make some great pictures and they are all around us, particularly in a city. There's a great repeating pattern going on over here to my right. Look at the architecture going on here. How could we do that? Well, there's the obvious one, isn't there? If I just kind of try and line up a shot, I wouldn't want to put the sky in the shot because, well, I don't know, actually. The more I look at it, the more I think the sky actually works now. Isn't it funny? Because when I first did that photograph, I thought, I don't know that I think the sky's a good idea, it's too bright, but actually I've changed my mind. I think that's quite a nice repeating pattern. I know, it looks like it's on a slope, doesn't it? Because it is on a slope, we're standing on a hill, and that's why the shot looks the way that it does. If I was to straighten it up a bit, let's say make it level with the hill, that could work too, it kind of does. It's your call. You know what it is that you want to photograph. Don't be afraid to break up a repeating pattern. Don't be afraid to put somebody into the frame, for example, which I think is really great fun. A couple of uh, police officers were walking through here just before we were getting set up, and I said, can I take a photograph of you over there? And, and they were great fun. You know, don't be afraid to approach people. And this is the shot I took of them. It's not really what I wanted because in my mind, I could see them a bit closer together, maybe having a laugh and, you know, a bit of fun. But of course, with social distancing, they can't do that. But never mind, it's still quite a good fun shot. And I now wish I'd done it with the sky in there as well. There are repeating patterns all over the place, particularly in a city. I mean. There's a great one up there on the side of that building looking through those trees. I really like the greys and the blacks and the whites and the windows. How could we do that? To do it, I've got to change my lens. So let's go over here and do a very quick lens change because I'm going to need a longer one. Got the 55 to 200 on there. Let's have a look through here. I'll put my video on. You can see a little bit more of what I'm thinking. So my exposure right because it was too dark you see that's quite interesting isn't it now we could even frame that repeating pattern with the nature of the trees but what if we kind of tried to zoom it on in a bit what if we started trying to isolate maybe some of those those two orange windows look at those two orange that's quite interesting isn't it and i like the way they're sitting on a slopey diagonal too there are so many ways you can repeat some patterns. Let me take a quick picture of it, and then we'll have a little discuss. How could you do this? How many ways could you find to do this? Oh yeah, I do, I kind of like that. I think it's quite good fun. Let's try going a little bit wider. Include three of the windows, three of the orange windows to break the repeating pattern up. How could you interpret repeat what else repeats in your life? Could it be your lunch? If you can taste something four hours after you've eaten it, I think that's good value. But what about exercise? What about reps? What about repetition? Could you photograph something to do with that? There are many ways, and how could you interpret repeat? If you need any help with your camera skills, because we're looking for great pictures, as well as just going, oh, here's a repeating thing. I mean, you know, there's some little railings down there. If I just took a picture of those from here, yeah, they're repeating across the picture. But they're not very exciting, are they? We want something interesting. You want help with that? Click the link up here, find out how I can help you. I've helped many thousands of photographers master their camera, light and composition. I can help you too. The hashtag has been on screen throughout. You need that hashtag when you upload your images to the relevant album on our Facebook group. The uh, closing date and the judging live feedback date is also on screen right now. Photography lockdown challenges are supported by the group members because somebody has to pay for the videos and all the rest of it. If you would like to make a small donation equivalent to the cost of a takeaway coffee, you would be helping keep it going. Please, again, click the link popping out above me right now. Beyond that, have fun. 
Go enjoy it. Find ways to interpret repeat, and I look forward to seeing you in the live judging. Take care. Be well.